Hey, welcome back to Tony's Board Life. Here we are. We on we are on turn five uh, right now. Yep, turn five, and we have our um, initiative phase, rally phase. But before I get started with that, I want to thank Stu from Vassling Stu for this nice dice tower. Uh, I really do appreciate it. It really classify it makes everything a little bit classier. So I do appreciate that. So thank you very much. Uh, for that I do appreciate that so and if you haven't checked out his channel uh, he does great jobs with ASL and he does do some other games as well so let's take a look initiative so we have the white and uh, blue dice blue dice is the Brits the white is the Argentinians and it looks like it's the Argentinians that get the initiative so that's pretty cool now we also have to do some rallying. We do have quite a few rallies here to attempt. Um, first of all, we need to attempt the rally on the leader here. So let's go ahead. We're going to zoom in on that area and work that through. So it's okay. So we need now in this hex, it's an open hex. So yeah, there's not much to much to help with on that. So we need a six or less. Um, you may hear some construction sounds just to let you know. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to get this out. So uh, six or less on this die roll and to see if we can actually undo all the other shaking because we need the leader. So here we go, leader, six or less. And we got a three. Okay, so he does get done. So now... He can help the other ones. So leadership, so they can add one. So we'll do seven or less. Two. Perfect. And then we have one more. Uh, that's an eight. So that one stays. And unfortunately, that was the one with the machine gun. So that one stays shaken. This one does not because that was... It's hard to see. And I should... But that was an eight. So good to go there. All the rallying is done. Uh, in this case, uh, there is no other rally. So at this point, we are ready to go. Okay, so the um, uh, Argentinians have the um, uh, <laughs> have the effect, um, the melee, uh, or have the initiative. So they're going to move into here, and we're going to melee. They have a three, three, four. Now this bazooka does not count um, because it's an ordnance weapon. Ordnance weapons do not count. You can't use. So it is going to be three to this three. So it's going to be one to one. So we need an eight or less uh, to go for it. So let's take a look. Eight to less. And this is simultaneously. So they definitely hit. So that will look good. One to one as well, coming back. And the Brits also get. So in this case, I believe both of them are eliminated. Let me double check on that. Okay, so I actually had that reversed. So in this case, they're still meleeed because it's the number or greater. So it needed to be eight or higher, not eight or lower. So, this group is still in a melee. One other thing real quick, and it won't change my results, is this would have actually, if you look here, there is an, is an M underneath it. And if you look at that M, that means they get a plus one for the melee. So they would actually get, so that would be a four firepower instead of... Yeah, that'd be a four firepower instead of a three. So, and you round up. So that'd be three to two. So it'd have to be a seven or less 
they rolled a four, so it wouldn't have mattered anyways. So that's that one. Now it's the Brits activation. And they were actually, we're gonna, they're gonna use their activation to melee back. So they're the attacker. So they get uh, seven or less to hit. And they get uh, a seven. So they do hit um, the uh, seven or greater, sorry, seven or greater to hit. So they definitely hit. Now these guys right here are defending. They get, uh, they're on a one to one. So they need an eight or greater to hit. And they get a seven as well. Um, so in this case, um, these guys are actually eliminated. So we didn't see that one happen at all. That's pretty cool. Okay. So now back to the, um, uh, I don't know what's, uh, now back to the Argentinians. They can't see these guys. You know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to fire these guys here into this hex right here and see if we can shake them get them shaken so that way maybe they can get moved in there so with that we have um so now i think i can move this just a little bit more yep uh so we have two um and let's see here so we're gonna fire so let me get a fire marker here so these guys are gonna fire onto these guys it's it's gonna work so we have a two plus a d6 plus one. So two plus three equals six. Now he gets to roll a d. Uh, so they have their inherent firepower, which will be three plus two. So that's a five plus eight. Yeah, so so this fired um, didn't do anything at all. So now back to the Brits. The Brits are going to pass. And the Argentinians are going to activate these guys here and move low crawl them into here, into this building. So they are going to low crawl into here. So we'll just mark them with a low crawl. And there we go. Now we're back to the Brits. Uh, again, they are going to pass. And so we are going to move over to Government House now. Okay, on to the Government House now. So let's go ahead and move. Now I can move these half the units, half the space, so I can move it six hexes, and then these guys can come out. So got to watch out for the law that's over here so maybe i'll zoom out just a little bit so you guys can get the whole map picture here so there's a law right here that can go through it so we are going to go one two uh, i just want to see the law number back here real quick six hexes so one two three four so he could fire right now but he would have to roll a three or less to hit. Um, and yeah, we'll see. Three or less to hit. Um, while if I wait a couple more, more turns, um, a couple more hexes, we can go there. So, well, let's see here. So I'm at two, three four, five, and then they're going to stop there and they're going to unload. So they are uh, in the same hex right there. So now that guy has moved. These guys can still move two hexes in this activation, I think. Let me look at that real quick. Okay, so yeah, now that they have unloaded, this can go one more hex, by the way, if it wants to. As of right now, it does not want to. So, uh, but these two can go two more hexes. So what he's going to do, he's going to split and go here, and it's going to call off this. Okay, so yep, these guys are going to op fire. So they, oh, <laughs> 
hot stone. Uh, so they're going to get two, three, and then four uh, for the leader. And so four plus a d8. Four is a seven. So these guys only get... Let's see here. Oh, they get a defense. I did something screwy up there. I'll have to fix it next time. We'll remember that. So these guys just get a D6. No modifiers. Uh, actually, this gets another plus one. So it's actually going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, plus three. So this is an eight, actually. So this will be an eight because of that's a move. This is a move. Okay, so he's gonna get a d6 roll. Okay, d6 roll is a five. The difference is three. So the defensive roll is three plus this. And so we got a two. So he is fine, but these guys are fired. So at this point, he's going to move here. That's moving there. This group's fired. He's going to move here. Okay, so now he's going to move one and then two as well. So he's moved. Um, this guy's could have fired. Uh, yeah, so he, yep, hold on. So they're going to fire here. This They're going to fire on this guy right here. Um, so they're going to op fire onto this guy right here so that's one two can't fire the law so two three because he's moved so three plus a d8 uh is five so that will be an eight he gets a defensive roll of just a d6 defensive roll which he gets a six so that is a plus two so he needs a four or less, and he does get a four or less. Oh, he's a five. He's a five for morale, so that would make him shaken. So he's shaken. I don't know if I caught that with this one. I thought this was a six. Oh, oh well. Okay. So that was worthwhile on that one. So he's got that on that one. Okay, so now it's the British Initiative. They don't have anything um, left. Everything's moved except for this medic, which isn't a problem. Uh, he can't fire anyways. So now it is going to be this tank, or uh, this LPC right here. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven. Oop, let me make sure. Clear terrain for a tracked vehicle. There's one, yeah. Ten, eleven. So he is right here. And so that is moved. So he could go twelve. They would turn the other way, so we're gonna put that as moved. So, okay, I think um, that is everything. Everybody's moved, everybody's done everything, um, and that's the end of turn five. Well, almost because now we do the administrative markers, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get the get those all removed. Okay, so at this point, everything has been removed. Uh, so yeah, uh, all the points have been removed. We had um, the uh, Argentinians get over to Government House. We do have one shaken squad there. Uh, he won't be there, but we do have this really, really nice squad group right here that can offload next turn to see what we can get on these houses. So they just got to get up these hills first before, um, or at least fire up there, uh, before they can do that. Over here, we have two of the three objective houses. Um, this was a melee that was lost by the Argentinians. 
Uh, but I have a feeling these guys are going to be going in here and, and doing some damage. Um, I'm pretty sure I ended up correcting everything on that, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I hope hope I did everything correct. But with that, uh, that is the end of turn five. We are now on to turn six. We have six and seven. Um, I am looking at a draw right now. I don't see how the Argentinians are going to be able to get uh, these four, uh, these four, these eight blocks um but i think we can get a, a draw on that one uh, uh with getting this last hill because we'll get everything in here we've got two turns to take that one but let's so i'll go ahead and get some damage do some damage right here if we if we can so with that i will talk to everybody later have a great day uh one last thing i do apologize for any of the construction sounds if they do did come through um still having some work done on the house but i wanted to get this filmed um, and honestly, it's probably quieter with the construction than it is with the family. So uh, with that, I will talk to you later. Everybody have a great day.